up everybody welcome back to another mall man episode today i'm with my buddy hayden we're going deer hunting he has not shot a deer this year so he's trying to fill his freezer up we got about uh 45 minutes till sunrise so we're gonna go get settled in the stand and uh hopefully put something down Uber H, Uber Hunter. <laughs> Number five. Meat in the cooler. Always a good day when you get to fill out a tag. Peyton Joe. This is October. Which one? Yeah. Plastic? Still. Huh. Where'd you hit her at? I shot her about right. What was it at? Right, right there. Just get to the heart. Show the far back so it went in like that. Like Thank you, Doe. Man, she ducked that dang dude. Man, that was crazy. I ain't... 30 yards, that's where we're sitting, guys. I don't know if you can see that. And yes, we are hunting feeders. That's just the... Norman, Texas. 
the norm in Texas. It's it's just kind of the heritage of Texas hunting. Um, I think 99% of Texas is private land, so low fence hunting today, um, and that's just what, what we do here in Texas. So sorry if you don't like it. Don't watch if you don't like it, but uh, that's how we roll here. I don't hunt over feeders anywhere else, but uh, it's how I've grown up hunting in Texas. So I'll spot and stalk when I can, but that uh, that last shot did it dirty. Hayden's gonna get his tag, put on this dough, and then uh, we'll load her up, head to the house. Ain't no covering that up. Well, we're back at the house, and this is the only gimbal I have. Is baby? It's for my when I'm skinning coyotes and bobcats. And Let's see if she don't work. Oh, uh, it'll work. So we're gonna hang this, uh, hang this deer up, hang this deer up, get to cleaning. Thanks. Big old dog. <laughs> we both stepped in it too. <laughs> Big old dog turd. Oh, I got it all over my boot. So we just got done deboning this deer. He's completely deboned. Um, got our ribs. All these uh, two back halves. Two big old beautiful back straps. Tenderloins and the heart. I'm about to cook this hard up for you guys. Um, that right there goes all the way through that far. And that was with the plastic broadhead. That's what it looks like. That's the only piece that we found in the whole deer. We went through everything and that's it. So it definitely hit some bone going into the heart. But uh, I don't know about that, guys. Y'all leave in the comments what y'all think about plastic broadheads. I just, I don't know, so. <gasps> anyway, let's go into the kitchen and uh, fry some heart. I've never had fried heart. I've only had it with onions cooked in red wine, so let's go see what it tastes like fried. All right, so got this heart. We're gonna clean it up real quick. You wanna take all the white stuff off. Cut all that junk off. So just cut as much white off as you can. So those broadheads that Hayden used, it's a it's called Cold Steel Cheap Shot. Um, I think I think they're like I want to say they're like a dollar a piece. I think you can get ten of them for like ten bucks or something. Um, I'm gonna cut this part into some slices. I guess I'm gonna slice this heart. Pretty thin. I cut those two first pieces a little thick. This is my Northern Knives Fisher. If y'all want to check these knives out, uh, their link is in the description. They're awesome knives. It's what we clean the deer with. Um, not with this knife, but another one of their knives. Super good guys. Go check them out. So now what you want to do is this white lining that kind of surrounds the inside of the heart. You can peel it off or cut it off. We'll just cut these into chunks so we can fry them. I've never fried heart before, so kind of interested in how this is going to taste. So I'm going to keep it pretty simple. Got some uh, regular flour. Crater Glitter, get it at mulletman.net. And don't forget, I'm doing a hunt giveaway plus nine other giveaways. All you have to do is spend $20 on my website and it automatically enters you to win. Every other $20 will count as an extra entry. Um, so, make sure you get over there and 
check out some of my merch. We got some new stuff coming out that's already out, and then we got uh, a shirt or two coming out next week. So, dust it off with a little credit letter, dip it in some flour just like that, and we'll just throw it in the pan. To the grease, and you don't want to overcook hard. It'll get pretty tough on you, so let them brown up on each side and I'll pull them off and uh, give her the old rating. She is ready. It honestly looks just like fried backstrap. It's exactly what it smells like too. I really hope it tastes like it. Let's come over here. Oh yeah, cooked perfectly. Looks just like backstrap, don't it? Let's see if she tastes like backstrap. Mmm, dude. That's good. I mean, it definitely has like the little irony taste that heart has but that is good well, that's, that's good, good. Ain't it? thanks I'm for giving me a heart dog no problem <laughs> dang that is super good one out of ten you know the rules out of all the hearts I've ever eaten I'm gonna give it a 9.1 that is better then the heart I cooked, the black buck heart I cooked with onions and red wine. That is amazing. If y'all want to cook heart, if you shoot a deer this year, keep the heart, trust me. Do what I just did and you will not be disappointed. That is amazing. What do you think? Out in the field, straight to the grease, no marinating. Heck yeah. Dude, that's awesome. Yeah, a lot of people in the black buck video, heart video that I did, a lot of you left comments like soak it in salt water overnight. All this different kind of stuff. We just took it straight out of the animal, fried it up, and that is good. So we're gonna finish eating this up. Hope you guys enjoy this video. Thanks for watching. Uh, make sure you get over to my merch site, enter for the giveaway. I can't wait to see who I'm hunting with. It's gonna be one of you guys, plus nine other winners. So if you didn't see the last video, go check out the last video, and you'll see everything else that I'm giving away. But until next time, hit that subscribe button, hit the thumbs up, and remember, eat good.